Hey guys, uh, today we are going to make a pineapple sunshine cake. I know there are lots and lots of recipes online um, for a pineapple sunshine cake uh, and they're all good I'm sure. Uh, but I do have one thing that I do differently with mine that to me takes it next level. Um, everyone sure eats it up when I make it or take it anywhere. So I wanted to share it with you guys. Uh, so I'm going to quickly, this should be a pretty quick video. Uh, I'm gonna quickly go over the ingredients, but I wanna say that this is, uh, start off by saying it's an easy dessert. If you can make a box cake mix, you can make this dessert and I promise you people will love it and think you spent a whole lot of time on it. <laughs> so we're gonna start out with a yellow cake mix. Uh, this is the kind I usually get, but any yellow cake mix will do. And if you don't like box cake mixes and you wanna make your own, feel free to do that. Uh, but you will need the um, three eggs and the half a cup of vegetable oil um, that this box calls for, but it calls for a cup of pineapple. Uh, it calls for a cup of water. We're not gonna use a cup of water. Instead, we are going to use a cup of crushed pineapple. So you're gonna need the yellow cake mix, your eggs and your uh, three eggs, half a cup of oil, a um, 20 ounce can of crushed pineapple because we will use this in our cake and in our uh, topping that we put on it. So a 20 ounce can of pineapple. You will need um, a box of instant jello, instant vanilla pudding, excuse me. A box of instant vanilla pudding, whatever brand you want. Uh, you will need an eight ounce tub. I think this is eight ounces an eight ounce tub of Cool Whip. I like the extra creamy, but you can get whatever kind you want. And you can definitely make your own with heavy whipping cream. And then of course, some spray for your pan and then a uh, 13 by nine pan. I will say this, this cake is going to be, is gonna stay in this pan. So keep that in mind when you're gonna take it somewhere. So if you're making this to take to a potluck or to a friend's house, um, just be mindful that we will not be taking the cake out of the pan. So make it in a pan that you're, that you're okay with taking somewhere. You know, you could put it in one of the little disposable pans or I like my pretty flowery pan. <laughs> I like that one. Uh, okay. So we are fixing to go ahead and get started. Uh, I just heard the beep of my oven. So that was a reminder to tell y'all to go ahead and preheat your oven to 350. Uh, if you're using a non-stick pan, you want, do want to lower that to 325, uh, but with my pan, I'm doing it to 350. So I'm going to go ahead and start dumping in my uh, cake mix, three eggs, half a cup of vegetable oil, and a cup of crushed pineapple with some of the juice, um, and I'm going to get that going in the mixer, and I'll check right back with y'all. Okay guys, I've got the cake mix going. A uh, couple of things. I get nervous making these videos, y'all. And so I always forget to tell y'all stuff. Um, so one of the ingredients I forgot to tell you about, which is the, uh, the thing that sets my sunshine cake apart from uh, the other ones that I've seen online. There may be people that do it, but I've never seen it. Um, but uh, sweetened condensed, a can of sweetened condensed milk, you'll need that. And I forgot to tell y'all that in the beginning with the ingredients. Another thing is uh, when you crack your eggs, I've told y'all this before, but this was something I learned in 4-H when I was doing an egg project at the Mid-South Fair in Memphis. <laughs> and we had to learn everything there was to know about eggs. And I had to put on a demonstration uh, for um, making an egg dish at the Mid-South Fair in front of all these judges, in front of the, anybody who wanted to watch. 
it was a lot of fun, but I did learn a lot. So one of the things that I did learn was the proper way to crack an egg is to, people want to put it on the corner of their bowl, crack it on the corner or their counter, and you get broken shells in it that way. So the best way to do it is to crack it on a flat surface. So you just lay it sideways, crack it on that flat surface, open it up, and you will rarely ever get a shell in it. Um, so that's just a little tip for y'all. And also be careful when you turn on your mixer, when you've got that cake mix in there, because a uh, cake mix will go everywhere. And I do know from experience. So, um, because when I turned on my mixer a second ago, uh, cake batter, cake flour went flying. So be careful when you uh, turn on your mixer. Uh, so that's looking pretty good. I'm going to scrape down the bowl and make sure that everything's mixed in and then let it go just another minute. And then I am going to spray my pan. Make sure you spray your pan. Um, I like using the Baker's Joy spray, but make, that, make sure you spray your pan real good. So I'm gonna get this scraped down, mix just a little bit more, spray my pan and get it put in my pan and I'll check right back. Okay guys, I got that mixed up. I got my pan sprayed and I have my cake in my pan. Let me show you guys. That's what it looks like. So we're fixing to put it into our preheated 350 degree oven and it will cook anywhere, depending on your oven, 25 to 35 minutes. Make sure you check it early. Um, the way I do cakes, a lot of people rave about my cakes, even if it's a box cake. And they, they're like, oh, it's so good, it's so good. And I don't do anything special. But the one thing I do is I don't overbake them. So one trick is if you think, if you look at it and the middle is just barely just, a, just a, could go just another minute or two, don't stick it back in there, take it out. It will continue to cook. Um, now you don't want it real, real loose. But I do the same thing with cookies and cakes. When I think it's at the point that it could maybe go another minute or two, I take it out um, because it will continue to cook and it'll be moist and soft and it won't, if you cook it until it's done, done, and then it's gonna continue to cook in the pan a little bit longer once you take it out, then it's gonna be overdone and dry. So that's just another little tip for you. So I'm gonna throw this in the oven and then I'll check back with you once it's done. Hey guys. Um, Wendy, check back with you on the cake. So the cake, I cooked mine for 32 minutes is how long it took mine to cook. Uh, I probably could have, after I gave y'all a big old speech just a minute ago about not cooking it till it's all the way firm in the middle and all that. Well, I got busy and I let it do that, but that's okay because it's still going to be good. But, um, so I could have taken it out at probably 30 to 31 minutes, but you can see it's nice and done and golden brown. The lighting, as you know, in my kitchen is terrible. It looks more yellow than it does on the camera. Um, but that's the cake. And so here is where mine, hold on y'all, I'm cooking supper too. Let me stir my supper. Um, here's where mine gets different than any other pineapple sunshine cake recipes that I've seen. So what I'm fixing to do is it's been sitting out of the oven for about 10 minutes. Uh, maybe not quite between five and 10 minutes. And I'm going to take the end of a wooden spoon. I don't use a wooden spoon for much of anything, but I save it for this reason. And I'm going to go in and I'm going to poke holes all in this cake. And I don't, I try to go down, but I try not to go just necessarily poke through the bottom, but I do try to go pretty deep. And of course, once you get to the middle, you can see how moist that is. <laughs> it's coming off of, on my spoon. So when you get to that middle part, you might want to be careful because it is a little more moist in there. 
All right, so when you've got the holes, all the holes the way you want them, we're gonna take that can of sweetened condensed milk and we're gonna pour it all in these holes. Let me see if I can get it over here where y'all can see it, maybe. And we're gonna pour this all. Let's see if it'll come out this side. Well, let me make a bigger hole in my can. And now what you're going to do is be gentle because your cake is warm. Is you want to spread that sweetened condensed milk all over the cake and all down in those holes. This can was really thick. Okay. So now that you've got all that can of sweetened condensed milk all over the top of this, you're going to put it in the refrigerator and let it completely cool. Uh, I'm not sure how long that, that will take, but you just want to make sure it gets completely cool. Um, you could even stick it in the freezer for a little while too to kind of help speed up that process. But, um, but I'm going to get this in the refrigerator and I'm going to let it completely cool. I will let y'all know how long I let it cool, and then I'm going to check back with y'all when uh, it's cool, and we'll make up the topping, and then we'll be done. So I'll check back with y'all in just a little bit. Hey, guys. Okay, um, I'm back. Went to check up with the cake. All right, so there is our cake that has been cooling in the refrigerator for several hours. Um, it's nice and cool. That... Um, Sweetened condensed milk has soaked all down in those holes and down in the cake. So now we're ready to make our topping uh, for the cake. So we are going to mix in an eight ounce tub of Cool Whip. All right. I've left mine sitting out a little too long, I think. Uh, I may have to let that sit in the refrigerator to firm up a little bit, but um, anyway, a box, a 3.4 ounce box of uh, instant vanilla pudding. You just, you don't want to make up the pudding. You just want it to be the dry uh, powder. And then uh, the rest of that pineapple, crushed pineapple that we had left, 
uh, from that can, we're gonna put about a cup of that in there. I don't wanna put all of that juice in there right now. Uh, I'm gonna stir this up and see how it does. I'm just mixing this up until that pudding uh, mix is all dissolved in that Cool Whip. Like I said, I've kind of let my Cool Whip sit out just a little too long, and so it's just a little soft. Uh, but that's this is what we're looking like. So this is what it looks like. If y'all can see that. So I think because I left mine sitting out a little too long, I'm gonna stick this in the refrigerator for just a few minutes and uh, let it firm up a little bit more before I put it on the cake. So I'll check back in just a minute. Hey guys, I'm back. Um, I let this uh, sit in my refrigerator since I left my little tub of Cool Whip out just a little too long. Normally you wouldn't have to do this step, but um, I put it in my freezer for just five or 10 minutes and it's kind of firmed back up for me. So it did not take long. So all we're gonna do is put that here on our cake. All right, and we're just gonna spread that around. Okay guys, that's it. So easy peasy on this cake. So this is our finished cake. Pineapple sunshine cake. It's, I know my lighting is terrible, but this cake is very, it's got a yellow, that pudding helped give it a yellow tint to the icing, even though it's not showing up on camera. Um, I don't know if that's any better. No, okay. Um, but anyway, uh, so we're fixing to uh, cut into it and do a taste test and I'll check back with y'all in just a second. Hi guys, we're back uh, here to taste our pineapple sunshine cake. Uh, Aaron, my taste tester is here with us. And so we're gonna dig in and see how it is. All right, you ready? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm. Very good moist. That is very, that's very good in there. Do you want to use your talker and tell us how, how you liked it? Yummy. Mm. Yummy. Mm. Aaron is so good. We gotta go in for another one. Mm. You want mm. to do another one? Mm. Mm. He's down for the count now, y'all. <laughs> that turned out really good. I hope y'all try it. Uh, if you have any mm. suggestions of anything else you'd like to see us cook, uh, let us know. Mm. Thank you, guys. Bye. <laughs>